it's October 1st, a Friday. September was absolutely nuts, crazy, travel, people, projects. And I kind of wish this was the, the video where I say October is going to be great and chilled and autumnal. Uh -uh. So like September, travel, people, meetings, new projects, old projects, and then on top of it all, I told a lot of people very publicly that I would launch Into the Abyss on October 1st, which is today. But I got, it's done, it's complete, it's out there. I'm about to send some email to let people know. It's a thing. Had a headache. Been working for the last five hours. Typing. Deadline. That's it. So I'm taking my walk. Usually helps. Oh, I forgot how busy Fridays could be. Just in the town in general. People coming in for the weekend. Tourist town. Asheville. Just how it is. Yeah, different route on my walk. These are just noisy out. Doing some kind of work on the bridge. It's just loud. So, into the abyss. My copywriting course. Launch. Get it out there. But why? Out of all the copywriting how-tos and guides and everything else out there, why go for this? Why take the time? I've been copywriting for years. Helping hundreds of people figure out their message, discover their audience, get people to buy shit. A lot of the stuff that's out there is great for those who want like a mass market appeal. Fine, I get it. But then, uh, you know, there's just people who have a very, I don't know, a very deep product. Their, their audience isn't in the millions. Instead, it's just the dozens, the hundreds. Those are the ones this is for. In a few weeks, all of this around me will be red and orange and yellow and beautiful. And the tourists will come and take pictures of it, and then it will all die. You know, the, the, the philosophy is click here, buy now, do this. How do you get somebody who's looking at your message to actually do the thing that you want them to do? And that's fine, and that's always gonna be a little piece of it. But I think about how much copy I've seen that has been targeted to me, that has been shown to me, that it's just not for anything I want. And Into the Abyss kind of turns it on its head, so it's not so much. Uh, getting anybody in the world to buy the thing you have, but to get to the right people who need the thing the most. Headlines don't matter if you don't know what the hell your story is. Come look at this paint. A lot needs to be mowed. I actually don't mind doing the lawn all that much. It's a good a reason to anything as to not think. For just a little bit. So the, the other thing about um, mowing the lawn is that since I can't do anything else, since I can't write or look things up or I don't even have music in, my head goes into that default mode. And that's when the best ideas come to you, you know? You know, when you're taking a shower and all the ideas come to you in the shower. It's just like, you know, I, I make every client that works with me write their own stuff, which is a little weird, but so it's like, you know, I, I sat at my desk for like an hour, two hours, three hours yesterday, and I tried to write this out, and I tried to figure this out, and nothing ever showed up, and I was just like, well, you know, don't do that. If it's not working, don't do it that way. The author, Chuck Palahniuk, who wrote things like Fight Club, his process was to 
basically write the life out of his mornings until he had absolutely nothing to give. Then he would go out, he would go on a run or a huge bike ride or do a lot of hard manual physical work. And then by the time he was back and showered and cleaned up, whatever he was struggling with on the page showed up in his head. So yeah, go mow a lawn, go for a run, go fuck, do something. Don't just sit at the desk. Mm. thing about this is with the subconscious right and this is at the core of what into the abyss has been about i came across a uh, a headline today actually this harvard professor uh of like economics and marketing and I don't know, the guy's supposed to know all about marketing basically said that 95 percent of all of our purchasing decisions are subconscious uh to me basically says he has no idea why we do 95 percent of what we do people they buy with their gut their hearts their feelings uh, you know, all things that aren't really measurable he then goes on to say well if you want to advertise to people you should appeal to their subconscious like any of us have any idea how to do that but i do know that before you go out trying to appeal to other people's subconscious it may be worthwhile to i don't know explore your own